Mangalam is here with the key brokerage highlights. Mangalam. Well, there are a couple of developments in Container Corp. The one uh, uh, land license fee being, uh, you know, uh, uh, the, the policy being notified yesterday is uh, the one that removes the, uh, uh, you know, last obstacle, so to say, for privatization. And that is something that uh, the brokerages are pinning their hopes on. However, as far as the land license fee itself is concerned, there is no clarity on that. So as a result of which, you know, there haven't been any numbers which have factored in to the brokerage estimates. So Credit Suisse has an outperform call. They've already had, always had an outperform call with a target of 700 rupees. They say that this paves the way for divestment, but uh, the benefit will be passed on to consumers, whatever it may be. So that may not be, uh, mean much margin expansion. Nomura on, on uh, Container Corp, they're the only one who've upgraded the stock to buy on this news and uh, they haven't changed the estimates however because precise LLF quantum is difficult to determine according to them. Jeffrey says that this is a key step in their privatization process. However, Kotak stands apart. Kotak has downgraded the stock from add to reduce and the reason why they say this is because uh, you know they believe that they had factored in 3% of uh, the land cost as LLF. Uh, currently they pay around 6% and the reduction that came in yesterday for 1.5% is for prospective bidders. So that doesn't happen to Container Corp itself. In fact, they believe that the, con uh, the company may have to lose more if they consider to rebid terminals in search of lower land license fee. And if land license fee does not stay uh, change uh, from 6% uh, what it currently is uh, in this situation, it will actually for, uh, impact their fair value from 730 rupees per share to 690 odd rupees. And they are, uh, you know, not particularly uh, putting any value with regards to privatization in their model because it is dis difficult to ascribe a value to the event of a privatization and which is why they've maintained a reduce on the stock or rather downgraded the stock.